For the first time in more than five months, Bogotá's airport has reopened to national travelers. Under strict health protocols, just a few flights are being allowed each day. But for the lucky passengers, it's a reason to rejoice. Like Alberto Vargas, who was about to board a flight to visit his parents in his native Barranquilla for the first time since March. I'm very excited about the reopening and hopefully this means a reactivation of the economy, something we've been waiting for for a long time. Colombia is slowly emerging from one of the longest quarantines anywhere in the world and entering a new phase with fewer restrictions. In the capital Bogotá, people are allowed back into parks, but many non-essential businesses are only opening four days a week. On Tuesday, in downtown Bogotá, informal vendors were being chased by the police. The vendors are only authorized to work Thursday to Sunday. I've been out of a job for five months. Now the police are not letting me work. I'm 69 years old and I haven't received any help. What am I supposed to do? Latin America's fourth largest economy shrank nearly 16 percent in the last quarter. Tens of thousands of shops and restaurants have already closed for good. Five million people have lost their job in the country since the beginning of the pandemic. The national unemployment rate has rose to 20.2 percent, the highest ever. And the situation is even worse here in the capital, Bogota, where 26 percent of the working population is now unemployed. But with the number of daily infections still stubbornly high, the relatively cautious reopening seems justified. What we are seeing in Colombia is that after a long time of gradual but consistent growth in infections, we have reached a point where it seems like the virus has finally stopped growing. It's remaining constant, generating expectation that the curve will start to descend. The government is counting on people to keep wearing face masks and maintaining social distancing in this new phase. But what's clear is that for many, getting back on their feet will take years, even if the fight to beat the virus succeeds. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.